Hello everybody, Dmod, Dmod here, and welcome back for some more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we kept going down the Citadel of Spiders and making it down here to sub-level 4. And who knows, maybe today we'll actually get through this dungeon. It's been a little bit since I recorded, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, it's gonna take me a second to get back into it, but you know, we'll get back into it. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, oh, we got some fire over here, and then uh, see the red picket already taken care of it. Oh, Jesus! Oh, okay, okay, hi. Uh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> That enemy there, that's a new enemy here. That's a water dump pool. And they are tough. They're kind of, if I were to compare them to anything, they're kind of like tougher dwarf bulb orbs where they're not really that scary. But they don't die in one hit if you throw a pick on top of them. So they're kind of just like tougher basic enemies. There we go. Nothing for our purples that can't handle though. And over here, this is actually a new enemy as well. This one's kind of unique. This one's called a Cromad. And the Cromad here it has this nest of sorts. And when you go near it, to try and launch at you. You want to dodge its launch, and then when it's going back, then you want to sick it. All right, go, 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 go. There you go. Nice and easy. Now, something that's kind of neat is that when it grabs Pikmin, it'll have to bring it back to its nest before it can actually kill them. So if you're able to actually kill the Kronma while it's going back, you will not lose any Pikmin for it. So if you act quickly, you can actually save Pikmin that it's already captured, which is pretty neat. Anyways, let's see. I got another water dump over here. All right, there we go. And what's going on here? Ooh, we got a white uh, bang. We got a white candy pop bud. All right. I'll uh, we'll, we'll break that down. I'll have our reds work on this. Some egg behind here. Let's just, get, let's just get everyone working on it. Why not? All right, there we go. Get some walls breaking down. And I think they're almost done here. They are done. All right, cool. So now, with that being said, we'll have our purple join them over here. Except they're pretty much already done, so it's not really going to change much, but whatever. There we go, alright. Do not break the egg. I'm not having this happen again. Let's get our purples ready. Alright. And of course, this time it's just nectar. Alright. Fine game. I wanted to make sure I'd be ready in case, you know, those weird enemies pop out of the ground. Alright, there we go. Everyone's flowered, eyes, colonized, whatever you want to say. So how about now we're actually all done over here. Let's get a red Pikmin. Let's go take care of some fire traps today. I said red Pikmin. White Pikmin, get out of here. There you go. And oh, we got another Cromat, huh? All right. In that case, uh, these guys back. We'll get our purples. And I guess Louie. I don't know. Louie can serve like bait or something for this guy. I don't know. All right, come at me. I should clarify, however, I actually kind of made a mistake here. These enemies are called the Hermit Cromad. There is a bigger version. I don't, I don't remember the bigger version being in Pikmin 2. But however, the actual, like, Cromad is, like, a big version that's in Pikmin 3. These are Hermit Cromads. All right, anyways. Uh, oh, we got... Wow, we got a lot of enemies this time. You know, for being an electric hazard dungeon that they warned us about, there's a lot of enemies here that you normally find in the water. Because, like, water dumples, as you can tell from the name, they're all normally in the water. Cromads are normally kind of in the water, but they can also be on the ground. Hey, we got our first treasure here. And I think I actually know which one, which one this is. Let me see here. Camera. Uh, this is, I think these are, aha, yes, they're Bowser Matches. <laughs> That's a cool brand. Oh, yeah. What else we got over here? Uh, I think this goes full circle to where we were. It does, all right. Anything from here? Nope, oh, nope, oh, we made that. All right, cool. All right, look at this. There's another piece of the title trivia. We got Bowser matches Flame of Tomorrow, and I like how the thing just keeps going up and down. Even though I'm not, just, I'm not moving it. Just tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Anyways, though. Oh, we got a treasure over there. All right, let's go grab that. And I think that might be it for treasures on this floor. Maybe, maybe. Looks like some picture of a dog. It, aw, it is. Aw, let me get a zoom up on that. How cute. <laughs> Knowing this game, however, that dog probably also has some trivia here. And I guess while they are bringing that back, we're going to sacrifice even more reds. I really need to grow some more reds after this dungeon. Holy crap, we have like none anymore. In case you're wondering why I always choose to sacrifice reds, it's because reds are probably the least useful Pikmin in this game, just because of the fact that fire, like, you can easily destroy fire now, so, like, you really don't have to worry about fire nearly as much anymore. Meanwhile, ele uh, electricity is instant kill now, and it's new, so yellow Pikmin, they kind of just reverse roles, like how the red Pikmin used to be, the, like, the most useful, and the yellow used to be least. Now it's kind of, like, reversed in this game. 
Alright, we got a picture here. Time Capsule. A classic name. I wonder if the dog has some history. Maybe it's like some dog someone at Nintendo owns? I don't know. The world may never know. And apparently there's still treasure on this floor. Jeez, alright. This is a big floor. And did I take you? Okay, yeah, no, I took you out. Uh, behind here is the exit. So I guess while they're working on that, we can go ahead and start looking around for the treasure. Louie can stay here and watch them. Alright, where could the treasure be? Where could it be? We already checked up here. So the, tre the treasure radar started. I I'm thinking it might be an underground treasure. Did I, did I walk past the treasure, maybe? Okay, no, the Bowser matches were in here, so I wouldn't be in here, I don't think. Wait, what? Why is it reacting? Why is it reacting? Oh, I'm so st I walked past it like four times. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm blind. Okay, well. At least you know where the treasure is. I can't believe I walked past that like four times. Holy crap. Ah, uh, sure. I'll take the, the uh, permit crawl badge back, too. All right, there we go. And there, that should be all the treasure on the floor. All right, there you go. I can't believe I walked past that like five times. Holy crap, I am blind as a bat. And wow, only 50 Pokos? How cheap. King of Sweets. I actually like chocolate much myself. I know cho I know a lot of people like chocolate. I'm not actually that big of a fan of chocolate myself. Always been a vanilla kind of guy. And yeah, that, that's all the treasure on the floor. All right, cool. All right, let's get all the pictures together because I guess why not? 75 Pikmin total, not bad. All right, with that being said, let's move on to the fifth floor now, shall we? Let's go. Now, like I said, it's actually been a little bit since I've recorded, so hopefully I don't sound a little too off. I've learned that when I don't do commentary like every day, I tend to like kind of like lose my touch for a little bit, so hopefully it's all right. But anyways, that's, I'm probably over, I'm probably overthinking it. Oh, we're at the bottom of the dungeon, I think. I think I recognize this floor. Yep, final floor, all right. Here we are. Now, in this particular final floor, the game actually does something kind of interesting that you wouldn't expect for a final floor. All right, so before we do anything, I don't recommend you go over here yet. However, if you look up here, I think it is. I'm trying to remember exactly where, but as you can see, the treasure radar is actually kind of going off for whatever reason. And that's the exit over there, so we want to ignore that too for now. I'm trying to remember. I think we need our white Pikmin for this, if I remember. Not our yellows, I think. Let me see. Yeah, as you can see here, they actually hit a treasure on the final floor, where there's normally never a treasure besides the boss. Pretty sneaky of them, but yeah. It's a diamond, too. A really pretty looking diamond. It's a Chaos Emerald. Okay, no, not really. <laughs> Alright. That being said, though, I'm gonna leave them to go bring that back. And going forward from here, at the white Pikmin, stay behind. Going forward from here, I recommend you get your yellow Pikmin because what we're about to fight, you're gonna be needing to reach really high up. And for those who are Pikmin fans, you probably know exactly what type of boss I'm talking about. Oh! Well, I guess the treasure will come back first. All right, here we go. The Chaos Emerald. 100 Pokos. It is Regal Diamond. I'm still calling it a Chaos Emerald. <laughs> All right, so whenever you're ready, get your yellow Pikmin and step forth. See like some sort of spider web in silhouette. Once you reach the middle, wha-bam! Here's our boss, Beanie Long Legs. Every Pikmin fan knows this boss. He's been in every game. He's a classic. Beanie Long Legs. The only danger this boss possesses is his feet, as he can crush Pikmin with feet when he steps down on them. And you want to attack the ball in the center like so. This is why you want yellow Pikmin, because they can reach up high. Now the main struggle of this fight, and I just lost the yellow, didn't I? I did indeed, oh Jesus! Yellows, yellows, run, 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 stay with me. All right, we had one death so far, I think. The main struggle of this boss is making sure your Pikmin actually stay focused on his core, not, not chasing after his feet like they try to do. If you can do that, this fight is not so bad. Oh god, oh. This boss kind of scares me actually because I have the, pers like, the perspective on it. It just, I don't know, it makes me feel like Pikmin are going to get crushed when they're not really. Alright, he's almost done. He's like, kind of like deteriorating. And we need to feed him. Fireworks and Confetti Ball. It reminds me of like the Brawl item. And he disintegrates. 
a pretty cool boss fight. At least it looks really cool in my opinion. And he left behind the Super Mario Bros. key. I think this keeps from Mario Bros. free. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm actually not the biggest Mario player, which is kind of weird since I'm a Nintendo fan. But anyways, sweet victory. The giant insect's body has crumbled to dust. I'm quite relieved to know I won't have to store such an enormous bug. <laughs> yeah, that would have been kind of hard, wouldn't it? Analyzing soil samples. Anomaly detected. What's that glittering widget? That's a fun word, widget. And yeah, we got our treasure here. We got uh, the Super Mario Bros. key. Only requires one Pikmin to carry it. He must be like super light then. If it, it's it's freaking huge, but it's only weighs one Pikmin to carry it. And yeah, that being said, we've done it here. We defeated. For being the Citadel of Spiders, we didn't really see too many spiders. But you know, at least it ended with a spider, so at least it kind of makes sense. All right, so we're gonna let that carry it back. It should be back any second now. And this item here, as you're gonna see here, I like saying here a lot apparently, is actually pretty interesting. Worth 100 Pocos. It's called The Key, that's it. <laughs> what a name. I guess the ship ran out of, I ran out of uh, crafty ideas, which was supposed to be his talent apparently. Anyways though, this object seems familiar. I'll combine it with the President's Parallel Dimension Controller. Excuse me, what? Parallel Dimension Controller? What kind of technology do these people have? Jeez. Alert! Sensors indicate a massive dimensional shift at a distant location. How can you detect that? I'm not gonna question it. Nintendo logic, you know how it is. I'm receiving a message from a far-flung dimension. Displaying the message now. Challenge mode can now be accessed from the title screen. By ultimate dimension, he means fourth wall breaking. The most powerful of all entities. It appears to be total gibberish. Hopefully the message has reached its intended recipient. I will name the apparently worthless device, the key. <laughs> and yeah, this item here, it actually unlocks something for you to do outside of the story mode. It's not just treasure or an ability for your captains. It is actually unlocks a whole new mode for you to play on the title screen. And I plan to show you guys that mode maybe... Hell, maybe I'll do it like next episode. Oh, ooh, 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 before I say anything else. Ooh, ooh, come on, come on. Nectar, Nectar, Potion. I think he left. Whatever though, it was worth it. I could do the glitch and get two potions, but I already declared that it's a little broken and I will not be doing that any low, anymore. All right, not bad at all. I also like how you run if you run for Nectar, like bounces up and down. <laughs> but yeah, in a future episode, I'll probably showcase what challenge mode is like, and there's actually, actually, there's actually also a multiplayer mode within this game too, and I plan to show that off as well. When I'll do it, maybe as a bonus video, maybe I'll just throw it in there in the main series, you'll see soon enough. Or maybe not soon enough, you'll see. <laughs> Anyways though, with that being said, we got everything done here, we got a potion, we got to defeat the boss, we overall did pretty well, I think we only lost one pick in this entire dungeon, so we're doing pretty good. But with that being said, it's time to blast off like Team Rocket. <laughs> that last little group of Pikmin that came late. <laughs> and holy treasure, we got a lot of them. And what? Oh, we lost zero Pikmin. We had a perfect run, folks. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I swear we lost one against the freaking beady long legs, but I'll take it. All right, cool. Look at that. Not bad at all. And if I remember correctly, I'm gonna leave this dungeon and we're gonna be immediately at the sunset counter. Because of how, how we rushed into that dungeon. Not a bad day at all though. Not bad at all. We did lose a lot of red picking to that fiery ball blacks today, but besides that, pretty good. And actually, you know, we... Even though it was like, I thought it was gonna be like instantly tense sundown counter, it's actually got some time left. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go put away our Pikmin. Oh god, I don't even wanna look how many reds we got now. <laughs> A whopping eight red Pikmin. Yikes. Okay, we definitely need to get some more reds tomorrow. We got a white Pikmin, let's put him away. We now have a total of 20 whites. And now we have, I think we have 20 purples, right? Then we have 25 purples. Wow, we're doing pretty good on purples. There we go. Put all of our Pikmin away. And you know what? After doing a, such a long dungeon and having such a good day, I think we deserve a nap. I 
said, I think we deserve a nap. Uh, am I clicking, am I clicking the wrong button? Is it up on the D-pad? Have I forgotten how to take a nap? I, I actually forgot how to take a nap. How do I take a nap? I forget. One second. Okay, I got, I got, I got to understand how to take a nap. I refuse. I actually forget how to take a nap. I swear it was up in the D-pad, wasn't it? Well, there goes my joke. It's ruined. <laughs> Well, I can't believe I actually forgot to use the nap feature. All right, I'll definitely remember that for the next episode, but good day overall. We got a lot done today. I'm happy. It was only our first day here in Perplex Perplexing Pool 2. We've still got plenty more to go here, however. Trust me, the areas in this game are pretty big. Anyways, though, let's blast off to the moonlight. Aha, Wally Logs, you'll never take me alive again. Jesus, they were really, really out of, had an outfit of ship. And there was four Wally Wads? How evil can you get? Jeez. Anyways, though, today's report. Let's see here. Fun turn. Lots of funds. We're almost at 4K. Not bad. All right. And what else we got? We got Pikmin. Let's see here. How many did I lose today? Yeah, Rip Pikmin went way down. But overall, we got more Pikmin than we lost. That's pretty good. All right, let's see. How many have we lost so far? 13. We lost eight to that bull box, I think. Jeez. But you know, 13 ain't so bad. As long as we stay under the 100 mark, I'm good. That's my goal for this project. We are going to not lose 100 Pikmin or over. And while so far, it may seem pretty pos possible, trust me, this game gets pretty hard later on. You'll see, this game gets really evil later on. Anyways though, I'm done rambling. Let's see what the president's got to say. Otomar, terrible news! I thought I went to Happy Hawk and savings and loans, but it seems my loan came to the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks. Oops. Uh, that might explain why we're in debt. <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, we're already on the mission, so uh, no worries, president. We got you. <laughs> And yeah, that's going to do it today for this episode, folks. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I wasn't too bad on the commentary. I tried to keep it good. And with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As for where we're going, you'll see soon enough. You may not expect where we're going. Take a guess in the comments if you think you know where we're going. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.